How long were you out before you went to hard copy? Oh, I worked at PM Magazine for uh, a couple of years. And before then Before you went to hard before copy. Before I went to hard copy. I convinced them actually when I was there. You want to hear how I learned how to write scripts? Yes. Okay. So I was an associate producer, which was like a booker. So I'd get on the phone and I would book stories and I would, I, I would send Matt Lauer out on stories. Okay. That's how long ago it was. Yeah. Okay. And um, then I wanted to learn how to do, how to write stories and go out in the field. So I would wait after hours and I would pull scripts out of the garbage <laughs> and when I figure out how they wrote them. And then I would hang around in the edit bays with the editors and I would ask them if I could just sit in and watch them cut a package from the scripts. And then I would make friends with some of the field producers and then they would teach me how to do it. But, you know, it was all working for free after hours and figuring out how to do it. And I would book stuff. I would book stories and then I would, I would convince them that I should go out on, in the field with the field producers as the booker. And then I, I convinced the boss that I should go down, move down to LA and run the LA bureau because they didn't have a bureau chief. <laughs> why not? Yeah, why not? So I moved down to LA and I ran the LA bureau of PM magazine. And from there I met, uh, Linda Bell blue who started working at PM magazine in San Francisco. And at that point I was going out in the field and I was writing packages about celebrities and I was faxing them the scripts and she would call me up and she had just uh, like wacky, very boisterous personality. And she would just, this is a great script. Blah, blah, blah. You know, that's all she would say. She never gave me notes. And so, but she loved me. And so she then got a job at a new show on the Paramount lot called Hard Copy. And she said, I want you to come interview. And, and so when I went to the Paramount lot for the interview, they told me it was a 30 minute version of like 60 minutes. Well, we all know what hard copy really was. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was nothing like that. Yeah. But they wanted me to do the celebrity pieces and they hired me and that was it. I pulled onto the Paramount lot, August of 1989 and I never left. Yeah, you've been here since. Uh huh. Same extension. Same lot. Same telephone extension. Really? <laughs> yes. See, that's fascinating. And I really want people to hear that. You didn't wait around for somebody to train you or give you a promotion or whatever. You stayed after, got scripts out of the trash to figure out okay, they do a throw here, an uh -huh. intro here. They, they use list this over on the left here, side, right. they put the, exactly. the package over here, uh -huh. they do this, and you figured out the format. Yeah, and I sat with the editors, and I watched what they did, and how they put that soundbite in. Oh, that didn't work because of this, and then they would change it, and uh, yeah, I just, I just stayed so after work. So you did it work, on your own. You I did trained it on my yourself own. Yes. by getting these people to show you what to do. Exactly. So then you said, I know how to do this, uh -huh. so now let me let do me it. Let me do it, yeah.